Okay, pause and copy. Pause and copy. Okie dokie. What are we doing? What are we doing? We are doing integral from 0 to 1. So I'm going to stop at 1. So what we're trying to do is, uh, this continues, of course, we're trying to find this area which appears to be infinite in some sense. So what we'll do is we will put a T, let's say uh, T right here, between 0 and 1. And we will find this area. And then afterwards, we will allow T to move that way. So limit T goes to 0. 0 plus. That's how we will handle these things. So we go uh, limit, 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 limit. Always start with a limit. T goes to 0 from the right, right? 0 plus. And T and 1. We get x to the minus a half is our integrand. And then that is what, 2x to the 1 half? Yeah, from t to 1, which is a limit uh, 2 minus 2t to the half. And remind ourselves, t is going to 0 from the right. So we get 2 minus 0, which is 2. So this area is 2 square units. OK, now we'll do an example. I'll pause and copy that thing in blue if you want. We're going to modify our integrand a bit, make it a bit um, a bit higher. So in blue, uh, 1 over x goes through the same point on 1, but it goes through this point up here. And then it's going to go through this point down here. Yada, 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 connect, ooh, connect the dots. We get a curve that is higher um, between 0 and 1. So this is y equals 1 over x. Now, the area we're looking for is this bigger one. Now, how much bigger is it? Well. That's what we're going to find here. So what do we do? Same approach. Limit goes to t0 plus t1, 1 over x, blah, 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 blah. And then we go limit. Oh, boy. Uh, this is ln of x. Don't need the absolute value since t is positive. Or x is always positive in this case. So we get limit. Uh, ln of 1 is 0 minus ln t. Now... What's happening here? T is going to 0 plus. Now, you should have memorized the graph of lawn. Lawn looks something like this. So as the T gets smaller, what happens is you're going down this way. 
So in a sense, you're getting minus, uh, minus infinity. Okay, so we get plus infinity here. Okay, pause and copy. Now, let's look what happened. Okay, between zero and one, the area under the black curve is two square units, and the area under the blue curve is plus infinity, divergent. So we will say that here, this is divergent.